Hey everybody, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Regrowth Amplified. Playing the Regrowth pack on the Feed the Beast launcher, version 073. I think 074 just came out, but I haven't updated my server yet, so still playing 073. I was created by Phoenix. We uh, did a lot, did a lot in between episodes. <laughs> created a lot more uh, compacting drawers because I love them. <laughs> uh, upgraded everything to Emerald, so it's all just like, well, not everything, everything, but. Uh, everything can hold a ton of, of crap. <laughs> I'm never going to run out of crap anytime soon. Um, didn't do anything out of here. Um, over here, I got some new seeds. We're working on some uh, cobalt and ardite seeds. Sweet. I'll show you the quest book in just a minute. I also finished off wither seeds. So we're getting those guys going. I'm actually going to harvest these because I need uh, some wither heads to go fight a wither pretty soon here. Okay, um, over here, I showed this right, that I built a, a platform under there. Yeah, we're going to be doing witchery today. And then over here, um, oh, yep, look at this. Look how beautiful this looks. There's now three floating hydrangeas on each side, so a total of 12, 24, if you count them both. And there's like this little fish tank there, um, using that diamond glass that I built for my sunroofs in here. So there's like a three by three cube of water and they're just drinking like crazy. So this is, <laughs> it's working out really well. Um, and I like it, it kind of like hangs down from the platforms. So if we look up here, they're filling up these guys and I've upgraded all my uh, spreaders to be elven mana spreaders since we had so much living wood uh, or whatever the wood we use for those are. You can look at the recipe here. Yeah, dream wood. Yeah, with uh, elementium and a mana petal. So I got those all upgraded. They're just about full, and then they'll start backing up into here. Okay, I'm doing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, infusions, so I've been using a lot of mana. Let's look at quests, I think, and uh, see what we got going here. Um, ton of quests to hand in, so we'll just start going through it. The way the world works, um, this was a lot of crafting, not a lot of exciting stuff, but we did this last time. Um, we got the sky stone. I finished that off. Dreamwood and Elementium. Gives us some elf glass, which is just glass through a portal, I believe. Um, I crafted, with all the Elementium I had, I crafted a whole new set of armor. And also made the Terra Blade, which takes the Terra Steel. Terra, rah, 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 rah. there we go. <laughs> the Terra Blade, two Terra Steel and a Living Wood. And let's go get that out of, actually, is it in here? No, I don't want to harvest you. Um, where are you? No, 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 don't see you. Is that you? No, that's the bef Befrost that we made last time. Must be in here. There it is. So the Terra Steel, it does uh, not a lot of damage. Plus seven. I enchanted it. It got fire and decay on it. Psh, quite crappy. But as you attack with it, every once in a while you get this like little green beam of mana. And that does a little more damage. So it kind of acts like a ranged weapon, but not a very good one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I had to craft it, you know, because it said two for the quest, but I do not plan to use it. It just doesn't do enough damage, and I've already got a ranged weapon and a sword that does way much more. Um, and then my armor, we got Unbreaking Protection, uh, Unbreaking Fire, Fire, and Unbreaking Projectile. So, oh my goodness. Not very good in chance, unfortunately. Wow, that is some lightning. My goodness. Go away. Wow. <laughs> that was a ton of lightning. Um, so yeah, not very good in chance. We'll try and fix that later. But we're going to get Flask of Fortitude, which um, has six swigs, basically, to give you resistance and a green heart canister, which is awesome. So let's put that on there. And that flask, I think, we'll definitely use to, to help kill the wither. So will that go in the potion shelf? I doubt it. It does. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, prove me wrong. Um, I also upgraded some of my uh, axes, you know, that were um, the mana stuff before. Now they're elementium. This one got sharpness four on it. Piece of crap. <laughs> I hate when I get bad in chance. Yeah, but my shovel got efficiency five. This thing digs sand like no tomorrow. My goodness. Um, I also crafted one of these rod of the seas. This guy is just used to create a water um, source. So if I were to go over here and make a little hole, because I don't want water going everywhere. Uses mana to make water. Pretty much all it does. Um, what I used that for was to create my fish tank. Hey, look, it's my fish tank. And I've got two little um, 
stingrays <laughs> swimming in there. I don't know what the actual name is. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is a, what is it? Three by four tank. So it's, uh, let's see, three by four by four. So 48 blocks of water, which is just barely enough to hold these kind of fish. I'd already crafted the fish feeder. And in here, um, you put uh, your male fish and your female fish and they just died so now they're raw and they produced one egg are you kidding me <laughs> they had I had fertility like crappy or something I don't remember what it was but um, so you put the male and female in here you put your fish meal in there um, if your fish tank is not big enough it will not accept the fish meal so if you're having trouble putting fish food in there it's probably because your tanks not big enough and then these stingrays um, required uh, like a negative 15 degrees so I had to put three advanced cooling upgrades in there uh, the ice I got from transmuting snow like that and the snow I got from the snow bells uh, everything else pretty easy aluminum snowballs iron yeah but we did get the fish eggs which I was hoping to get I can't remember how many of the quest wanted but anyway so we built the fish tank there nothing really tricky about that put this back in there I built this waypoint compass which is pretty easy I don't really plan to use it I think you can enchant it and it'll like um, stay in your inventory and show you kind of lead you towards your corpse if you die um, I just don't plan to die anymore <laughs> upgraded my chisel um, this one is cool because it can uh, AOE chisel things which I don't actually don't want to show because <laughs> yeah it's gonna chisel my entire base or a good section of it I'll, I'll show you that some other time when I'm building stuff uh, oh. made a diamond saw to cut those um, glass blocks up and I think that's all that's new in here, pretty much, yep. Okay, back to the quest book. Uh, we also completed these, where the elven mana spreaders. I'm going to get two full mana tablets. I've got so many mana tablets. It's nuts. <laughs> because they don't go anywhere. They just, you know, once you're done with them, they're, they're there. Um, then we also completed these sparks. So I already made a spark before, so that didn't really... That, that was already completed, but then I made these augments, um, which are really, really easy to make. Uh, a man of steel, a pixie dust, and a rune, either of air, fire, earth, and water, I believe, to make each of the different sparks. We'll play around with those later when I need when I need to transfer some mana around, but for right now, I'm just going to claim the reward. I get eight free sparks and a bunch of dreamwood. So add to my collection here, of course. In there. Okay, um, and then the next thing is to do Guardians of the Earth, which is to um, build up to the summoning ritual for the Guardian of Gaia. The first thing I need in there is going to be uh, another star so I can make a beacon. So it wants me to kill the Wither, and we'll do that as soon as we can. Um, down here, let's see, what else is something done? What the world embraces, I went ahead and made the Void upgrade. That was a piece of cake. It was like a... Uh, uh, I don't remember. Let's just look it up. I think there was something. Obsidian Pistons. My goodness. Can't get any easier than that. It's going to give me more upgrades and more storage upgrades. Just put those in there for now. Um, we also completed the Void Bag, which is going to give us a Void Chest. Again, don't plan to use it right now, but might as well check off some quests, right? And the last one is this compass that I showed you I created. I get 32 more maps and two more waypoint compasses. So the maps I will put in my atlas. There we go, I got 37 more maps. And these void compasses, or the compasses I guess I'll just put in here now, since I already got the one. Okay. So that's done. It says only 95. There must be a hidden quest somewhere. That's fine. Uh, what the world is built from. This is where the seeds unlock. So we got the extremely or extreme infusion stone. Um, that's again. It's just you know building up from what you make. It's kind of like one of each of the essences essences that we crafted before. So the redstone, glowstone, lapis, diamond, emerald, shards, creeper, and spider. I could have made this a lot earlier, but that, remember that creeper one took us forever to get that creeper heart. And then with that in hand, which gave me four Wither Skeleton Skulls, by the way, I could now make some of these other seeds. So I went with the ones I needed the most of quickly, which is obviously the Withering Seed, so I get more Wither Heads. 
Um, so I made those guys, and then I made the cobalt and the ardite as I showed before. So wither oops, seeds. Two of the wither heads we already made: a rune of pride and rune of wrath. Some extreme essence and essence seed. Cobalt. These weren't exactly easy because you needed a block of cobalt and a block of manillion. So I'd go back to the nether and farm forever to get more cobalt and ardite for that. Uh, refined steel and a blue dye. Some runes. Pretty easy. I think the ardite is the same way. It was just uh, ardite. There we go. Block of Ardite and a block of Manillion. So, got all those created and those are now crafting. These two are almost 10, 10, 10. They probably are by now, actually, because they grow so fast with the sprinkler on them. We can go ahead and throw these in here, see what they're at. That one's 10, 10, 10. And this one, 10, 10, 7. Are you kidding me? Okay, well. Let's start this guy going again, just so he can finish off. All right, which was the... Oh, no, now I've lost it there. 10, 10, 7. Okay, you grow. You guys can just stay here and make more. <laughs> Fine. And I'm going to put you in here. Okay, so now I think... Well, let's just check the quest make sure that's everything. Um, we can claim some of these rewards, give them more extreme essence. Why wouldn't it let us... Oh, pick one. Okay. Obviously extreme essence. <laughs> We're going to take on all of these. Because once you have a 10, 10, 10, then it's kind of worthless. So extreme goes in there. Putting more essence out of our inventory. Okay. Uh, that one can go there. That's fine. Um... Anything else we did? Coding? No. Life? No. How the world changes. Okay, time to do some witchery. Let's start with some poppets. So we need a taglock kit and a actual poppet. Let's go ahead and get that. I should have what I need. The taglock is bone needles, which are bones and flint mixed together with glass bottles. We need the taglock kit. Those are, I get through, well, one, one time for each other's craft, and I can just click it on my bed to bind it to myself. You can see now those are bound to Funshine X and they stack when they're all bound to the same thing. Then I need the actual poppet itself which is right here which is uh, some of the Spanish moss, some wool, some string, and a bone needle. Let's get one of those. And did that complete the quest? No, we also now need to make a uh, turn that poppet into a water protection poppet. So that is right there. To make him a water protection we need two water chokes and two ink sacks. Okay, I don't have any ink sacks, but I can get some with dye essence, right? Um, do I remember that ink? No, that's not ink. Uh, this way? Nope. <laughs> let's, uh, let's look here. Oh, up on the top. Okay. And then water artichokes over here. One, two. What these poppets are going to do, basically, is give me protection from certain things. So, water protection will give me protection from drowning. If I ever do drown, it will just refill my um, bubbles and and take and consume the poppet. Um, I can either have it on my inventory, like this, um, and just walk around with it, or I can put it on a poppet shelf, which I'm thinking it's going to make me want to make, or make me make next. It's going to be a fire protection poppet. And no, okay. I guess it doesn't want a poppet shelf. That's fine. Okay, I won't make one then. <laughs> it does want me, however, to make these uh, attuned stones. Now, here's how he's kind of gated um, witchery. Is that the attuned stone takes a dragon stone, which we got when we opened the portal. So we can't do any of this in the witchery until we open the portal to Elfheim. Which is pretty cool. So, Whiff of Magic, Dragonstone, and a Lava Bucket. So I've got those here. I'm going to make two of them here. So make one, and then go get another bucket of lava real quick. Okay. 
That's two as tune stones, and I think the quest will then give me two more. So I've now got four. And now it wants the poppet shelf. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, yeah, let's move up to the altar first. The altar we're going to need to... Um, this is the... There's an altar in pretty much every magic mod, right? This is the, the witchery altar. Um, that one is going to be rowan wood in the middle. Uh, stone bricks on the outside. A water bottle here, and then Exhale Horned One and Breath of the Goddess will get you three altars blocks for every craft, and we need six, so we'll have to do this twice. That's why I got twice of everything. Okay, now this is a multi-block that we need to put down, and it needs a lot of space around it because the altar uh, kind of has a power system based on what's around it. So if we put it right here in the middle of all these trees... You can see it formed a multi-block here. And the base altar, I don't know how much power it has, but you can see mine is already over a thousand, and that's because of these leaf blocks and tree block or uh, wood blocks that are around it. So up to a certain maximum of each type, you know, kind of gives it some power. And that was the whole point of putting in this basement, is now I can plant a ton of plants down here and just completely consume this area with plants. And uh, if I need to, I can put some more stuff around here, you know, in the, I can change this wood out for dirt and put some more plants in here. Uh, I want, I'm aiming to get up over 10,000. <laughs> and we can't do that just by plants and trees alone. We need to help it. And I'm sure the quest line is going to direct us down that way. Uh, but you can see right now it's got an X1 multiplier. That just means the rate that it's regenerating. It starts at zero and, and regens at one per however many ticks. Um... We can increase that regenerate. We can also put on things that multiply our base value here. So this 1160, we can multiply by up to four or five, I believe. So that's the plan. We'll get that done pretty soon. That's the altar. Cool. Claim the reward. It's, and here's it's helping us. It's giving us melons, pumpkins, and Spanish moss. So what was that value again? 1160. Let's put down 10 melons and see how that value changes. So let's just put melons... We put them right along here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now there is a range as well on this altar, a uh, certain number of blocks. I think it's 16 by default, but we can increase that. So that's, I think we're, we're well within the range of with these melons and pumpkins. All right, so we put down 20 blocks. It went from 1160 up to 1251. So we almost... 91 for those 20 blocks, so it's kind of a weird multiplier. <laughs> it wasn't exactly like one point per block or two points. It was just something. Somehow it calculates that. Uh, we need to put some Spanish moss down, so let's put... Um, we can put the Spanish moss on some of these trees, maybe. Actually, if I just put it on this, it'll grow. So that'll work really well. There's a lot of Spanish moss growing all over the place. Now we're up to 1283. Cool. We're getting there. <laughs> uh, an altar will be more powerful the more nature surrounds it. There needs to be a, something else in there. Oh, anyway. Um, wow, look at all that opened here. Wow, we're, grow we're going fast into, into this. Okay, so it wants us to augment our altar. And there's two things we can make, candelabra and a chalice. And actually, a torch is one of the things you can put on. So if we put a torch on here, remember, it's 1285x1. Put a torch on here. 1285x2. So the torch helps it to regen its power faster. Now, the candelabra is just an upgraded version of the torch. So it'll, I think it'll take us to x3 on the multiplier. The chalice, on the other hand, will, I think, double how much power it has. So let's make both of those. Um... Chalice. There we go. So we've got an empty chalice and a filled chalice. We can't make the filled chalice yet, but we can do the empty. We need a tombstone, gold nuggets, and gold. So thanks to our nice compressed drawers, that is a piece of cake to make. Okay, we got the chalice. Then we'll get the candelabra. That one's going to be in a tombstone, some iron, and some torches. So three more iron. Okay. 
You can see we used two out of the four tombstones, so if we're going to make that poppet shelf, we'll need two more. But now, if we leave the torch there and put the candelabra, remember it's X2. Didn't really do anything, did it? <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, there it goes. So you have to take the torch off. And look, that actually gave us a little bit more power, plus it get, took us up to X3. So candelabra is pretty nice. And now we're at 1299. Let's put the chalice there. And now we are at 2598. So I think it did double, double our altar power there. It's like second green stuff in. Do you see that? There's like these little green particles. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so that should be that quest done. Claim a reward of a skeleton skull. So skeleton skull is another thing we can put on the altar. We are now at 2604. Let's put a skull on there. And we're at 3906 NX4. So it gave us additional power and regenerate for a, a skeleton skull. Sweet. Okay. Um, we done with that? Yep. Next things it wants to do. Um, Bane of Tibbs. Now this is kind of all the stuff we're going to be making later. Diamond Vapor, Another Star, Tear of the Goddess. So I think this is all the stuff we're going to need to craft some kind of demon. Interesting. With 10,550 altar power. So there we go. That's how much we're targeting, guys, is to get over 10,000. It's going to take a while. Um, we can also get this uh, Mutandus Extremis. This is pretty cool. Uh, we'll be doing that later. I think let's go with uh, these other items here um, that we need to make. So let's do the poppet shelf. We're going to need two more whiffs, two more lava buckets, and two more dragonstone. It's down here. I like that I've taken the time to make a bunch of the fumes ahead of time, so we can do this quickly. Lava, Dragonstone, Whips. Go in there. One. Okay, there we go. The poppet shelf is POP. There we go. Poppet shelf, four tombstones, four nether brick, and a green wool. Let me get some nether brick. I forgot to grab that. Okay. There we go. Pop it shelf. Now I think it also gives us uh, death protection as a reward. Yeah, we do. Death protection. So that means if we die, it will just consume the protection poppet and put uh, put us back to full hearts. That's awesome. And I don't need to hold these in my inventory anymore. I can put them on the shelf. So let's just put this poppet shelf over here, just near our altar. I don't think it has to go near the altar actually, but I think it just if we put all of our Witchery stuff over here, that'll be end up looking pretty cool. So put that guy, fire, water, and death. So I'm thinking the fire protection will probably just put us out if we start burning. So that one will be consumed pretty quick. And a lot of times when you start burning and you put yourself out, you you continue burning again just a minute later, like you're swimming in lava, right? Um, so I don't know if that one would help us a lot. But there are times I've burned to death, so that could, that could be helpful. Water protection again... Um, Hopefully I don't forget my scuba stuff when I go in the water. And death protection is going to be great. And these say not bound. Do I need to... Oh, I think I need to mix them with a tag lock kit. Let's try that. There we go. Yep, that is a uh, good thing I didn't forget to do that or they would have been totally <laughs> wasted on here. They would have not done anything. Okay, so they got to control who they're actually bound to to an uh, effect. Okay, cool. All right, um... Cool, we are just chugging along the quests. We now need to make a spinning wheel, a kettle, and a distillery from witchery. Spinning wheel. We've got witching gadget spinning wheel and a witchery spinning wheel. Interesting. Ah, oh, another a tombstone. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Four item frames, a wool, a stick, and that, and some wood. Okay. Um, actually, I think the distillery takes in a tombstone yep it does and that must mean the kettle does as well right yes it does okay so let's make three more 
Um, luckily, I crafted a bunch of these. Or it would have been hurting and have to have to sidetrack quite a bit. Okay, don't have enough lava in there anymore. Um, you've got lava. There you go. Oops, craft it over here. So lava, you. Ah, come on, crafting table, not chest. And last one. I almost put it in the chest again. <laughs> okay, so three of those. Let's make the kettle. Need some sticks, some string, and a cauldron. Um, That's a lot of sticks. Whoops. <laughs> Probably didn't need that many. Uh, cauldron. What was the rest? Oh, string. One, two, three. Look, shift clicking works now, guys. Because I upgraded these to improve chests. So it doesn't interfere with this stupid thing anymore. Thank you for everyone that commented in the comments. Probably had like 30 comments telling me why this crafting station wouldn't allow me to shift click. And that's because of the, the ch vanilla chest next to it. All right, so there's our kettle. Let's go back and get that dis Oops. No, I don't want to broadcast to Twitch. <laughs> I don't know what button I hit there. Oh, well. Uh, distillery. Two clay jars, four iron, two gold. Clay jars down here. Do I have any extra clay jars? Ooh, no, I've used them all. Okay, fine. Get some clay. Where do I... Where have I put my clay? Clay is one of those things I always don't know where to put it because it's not a mob drop, it's not a living item, I don't know. Earth essence and water essence. There, now I have a bunch of clay. <laughs> uh, where are we going to put that? Um, does clay compress? Ooh, it does. <laughs> Some of this is a little cheap because normally you couldn't just craft, uncraft that. That's fine. Um, so let's get a stack here. Turn it into clay jars. And go cook it up. Can I cook it in here? I forget. I think it can. Oh, there's some empty clay jars. Can't cook it in here, but oh well. There's the clay jars we need. <laughs> that works. I will cook it in the nether furnace. There we go. Okay. So, distillery in here. I think we got everything now. There we go. Love that thing. Okay, and then the last one was... Don't remember. Spinning wheel. Yep, spinning wheel. And it looks like one of those had a follow-up. So we needed wool, stick, wood planks. I've got wood planks, I've got a stick, I need some wool. Don't have any. Ever notice that sometimes when you're mouse wheeling it doesn't it like picks up the item stack? Uh, and item frames, so leather. And more sticks. Okay. There's four. And there we go. Spinning wheel. Cool. Now all of these items need the altar somewhere close to them to function. So I think we can put them right along here. Maybe I'll move this rail a little bit and make some a better area. But for now, let's just go ahead and plunk them down here. So we've got the spinning wheel. We've got the distillery. And the kettle, which is going to need fire on it. Okay, yeah, so I will have to make... A better something better for these to sit on so they look a lot better um, maybe I can move it out there anyway oh I had a grand idea for this water source I don't like it there why not hide it right here haha -ha. <laughs> nope oh crap now how am I gonna get um, let's see Take that one, come up here, and do that. No! <laughs> Fine, I'll just leave 
leave a hole right there. Anyway, I was planning I plan on growing another tree on top of this, so I'm just gonna hide it, hide the water source right under there. Okay. Are you growing any more? Thirty nine forty two. It's looking pretty good. As the Spanish moss starts creeping, it'll grow just a little bit more. Alright, which of those did not complete? Spin me right round, gave me more whiffs of magic. Okay. Kettle on, gave me some water bottles and glass bottles. And the distillery needs us to make an oil of vitriol. Okay, let's look at what we need to do to make an oil of vitriol. Clay jar, quick lime, and foul fumes. Okay, so we should have some foul fumes. Quick lime, I, beget, I believe we get from wood ash. Crafted with itself. There we go. There's a ton of it. I don't know how much I'll need, but I figure I might as well have a good supply of it. And there's some foul fumes. So, should we make like, uh, let's just do two of them for now. So we need some empty clay jars. I happen to just just cooked a stack. That's pretty nice. Got 20 of them ready. Let's go see if uh, this is gonna work. So we're in the distillery. We will put empty jars, quick lime, and whiff no foul fumes. And that's gonna start doing its thing. You can see the little little fuel or clay jars there, which is cool. And that recipe will get me not only gypsum and slime ball, but the oil of vitriol. So if you ever need slime balls, you don't have a way to get slime, here you go. Here's a byproduct way. Okay, and that takes up a little while to cook, and it's probably taking smelter power. Just a little bit. Not enough to for it to show, really. It's just it's regenerating it as fast as it's using it, so. That is good to go. All right. We also unlocked getting a blue brew of sleeping, which is to go to the dream world. Wow. I don't know if we're ready for that, guys. Uh, we've also got this witch's hat and witch's robes. I believe if we make these, creepers don't attack us. Yeah, that's going to be fun. What's, oh, okay, it's doing another. I'm like, wasn't this almost done? Okay, so that should complete this quest now. There we go. Pick one. Gas tears or more clay jars? Um, clay jars. I'm going to get gas essence seeds really soon. Really, either one of those was kind of a silly quest item. All right, so that's uh, locked until we do something to get these two. It wants us to get a guard tree to kill a tree fid. Okay, I think I know how to do that. I think we need to chop down rowans, or maybe just any witchery tree, and as a chance to summon this little guy, will come out and attack us. So we definitely want to do that. Um, in between episodes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and, and do a little research on how much of each item I need to put in here. Um, I've got, it's two by two, so technically I could hood stick the pumpkins on top of the melons, or even raise both of these because, and plant something underneath it, but trying to find the most efficient way to possible, see if I can get to over 10,000 with this setup here. Um, there are a few more things I can put on there. Um, let's put one of them because I actually have it made already. And that would be the range upgrade, and I think it's in here? Is it my might be in here. I made these to go hunt creepers. And these are Thanas. So let's get this one. The knockback two th or Thana. The fail enchant of them all. It's like, who wants knockback? But anyway, so this, we'll see if it does anything. 3960, we'll go ahead and put it on there. And if anything was out of range, no, it looks like we were all within range. But now, it's good. I think it's got like a 32 or a 64 range, so <laughs> we could put these these items anywhere pretty much close to this thing and I might do that see I've got this little uh, outcropping here for my plants I think what I'm gonna do is make an outcropping here for these uh, these items and I think the easiest way to tell if you're within range is just to um... no, I don't know <laughs> who knows okay anyway 
So again, as I said, I'll put I'll put a bunch of plants in here and try and get this up to 10,000. So the next time we can uh, do a little bit more witchery and get into, you know, those tree fids and and maybe attack um, the uh, the dream world out at some point. I don't want to do the Nether or the Wither. I always call him the Nether, the Wither boss. Um, so we'll probably start out with that. He should be pretty easily with the crossbow and the sword that I have, and the armor that I have is also decent. I can get the regen and I can get the uh, um, all the other stuff that helps me out, the potions, all the cool potions. Um, I, oh, I think I can get a player head. Do we want to go look at that? I want to see, because I think player heads are better than skeleton heads. I think wither heads are even better than skeleton heads. So let's try that. Let's get a wither head. Where would I put that? Probably in here. Yeah, so let's get a wither head. And let's look in... Would it be in the lexica? I don't remember. I know I've seen it done. Nope. Head creation. There we go. So, in a runic altar, we need a golden apple, a skeleton skull, pixie dust, prismarine, and a name tag. I think I have all that, so let's get that done really quick. Um, name tag anywhere? Maybe? No? Scrolled? I'm, that's going to get me all the time if things are hidden by on the scroll wheel. Okay, so to get a name tag, we need paper, string, and a slime ball. Let me get this all created, guys. I'll be right back since we are going pretty long. All right, guys, I decided to hold off on the custom head. I have a specific person that I want to do, but I do not know their in-game name. So I'm going to do that uh, off camera. But let's go ahead and put the wither skull in there and just see how it improves it over the normal skull. So we're at 3960x4. Let's take off this skull and put on the wither skull. And we're now at 5280x5. So that wither skull is a huge improvement. And uh, I think the player head will be even greater. So again, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been Fungen X for Regrowth Amplified. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.